All right, what do you have to know about contingent liabilities? Big topic, not just for FAR, but for audit. Contingent liabilities are based on uncertainty. The uncertainty is regarding future events. The condition itself exists, but how that condition will be resolved in the future is unknown at December 31st. So contingent liabilities are all about what do you do on December 31st when this could happen, but it might not happen. For example, maybe you're a defendant in a lawsuit for employment discrimination or a product liability lawsuit because customers are getting hurt using your product. So there's a liability out there. Maybe it's for customer warranty claims because you have sales and anyone who has sales knows that they could have a liability for warranty. And usually based on historical information, there'll be an estimate made on future losses due to the warranty claims of customers. So how much is recognized at December 31st? Or is it just a footnote disclosure? That's what we're gonna go over. So the contingent liability could be from a lawsuit, it could be from customer warranty claims. It could even be from a rebate where you have sales and then customers fill out a form and send in the form and they're entitled to some cash back. Not everybody's gonna fill out that form so the contingent liability is based on how many, what percentage do you think of the customers will fill out that form and claim their rebate. And that'll be estimated by management. Other contingent liabilities could come from premiums. Here where you send in two cereal box tops and you get a prize. Management has to estimate that contingent liability based on historical information. And then there's also additional contingencies regarding foreign governments who can expropriate company assets. And then there's guarantees of indebtedness where your company co-signs for another entity and this would have to be disclosed even if the chances are remote. And on the exam, this becomes something of a word game. Assuming the event or transaction has occurred, what's the likelihood that it's gonna result in losses? If they tell you on the exam that it's probable that you're gonna lose the lawsuit, that means it's more likely than not. And if the amount can be estimated, then you have to recognize the loss. You'll actually debit an estimated loss and you'll credit an estimated liability. But the only way you'll journalize this loss and this estimated liability for contingency is if it's probable that the loss will occur. And they'll have to tell you that in the question. They might say it's 90% chance that you're gonna lose because legal counsel told management so if it's probable 70% or more and the amount can be estimated, then you have to recognize the loss, debit an estimated loss from contingency and credit an estimated liability for contingency. What if it's probable, but you cannot estimate the amount? Well, then it's just a footnote disclosure. No journal entry. Don't accrue the loss if you can't estimate the amount. Just alert the users of the financial statements to the potential liability. You would disclose the nature of the event that led to the lawsuit. If it's probable but cannot be estimated, you would just disclose it with a footnote. Remember, if it's probable and can be estimated, that's when you would journalize the loss. And you would do this at year end as an adjusting journal entry. So to book it, it has to be probable and reasonably estimated. If it's probable but cannot be estimated, footnote disclosure only. What if it's not probable? What if it's reasonably possible? So it's like 50-50, then it's footnote disclosure only. Once again, you'd show the nature and possible amount of loss if you can estimate it. Big difference between reasonably possible and probable. If it's only reasonably possible, then even if you can estimate the amount of loss, you won't book it because in order to book it, it has to be probable and estimable. So it's a word game. If it's just a remote chance that you're gonna lose, no disclosure at all is necessary. So in order for footnote disclosure to be required, it would have to be more than remote chance that you're gonna lose. Now, if you co-sign for another party, you've guaranteed someone else's indebtedness, then you have to disclose, even if it is a remote chance. So let's say you're a parent company and you've guaranteed the debt of your subsidiary, or you've guaranteed the debt of your supplier, if you've done that, then you have to disclose that in a footnote, even if it's just a remote chance that you'll ever have to come up with the money 
you'd still have to disclose it. Whereas if it's a lawsuit and it's remote, no disclosure. But if it's a guarantee of indebtedness and it's remote, you still have to disclose it. Let's try this question. When a contingent loss is probable, but not reasonably estimable, the loss, A says, should not be disclosed. Well, if it's probable, then it has to be disclosed. If it's not reasonably estimable, then you can't book it. You can't journalize the accrual, but you should still disclose it with a footnote because it's probable. So A's out. B should be accrued. No, you would accrue it if the contingent loss is probable and it could be reasonably estimable. So A and B are out. C should be disclosed as a footnote, but not accrued. Yes, that's looking good. Or D should be disclosed as a footnote and accrued. No. So the answer is letter C. A loss that is probable but cannot be reasonably estimated is disclosed in the notes to the financial statements but not accrued because it can't be reasonably estimated. How about this one? For a contingent loss to require disclosure as a footnote in the financial statements, the loss must be more than A, remote. Well, if it were just remote but not more than remote, then you wouldn't have to disclose it. In order for disclosure to be required as a footnote, it would have to be more than remote. So A looks very good. B, probable, no. If it were probable, then you would be up to the point where you might actually have to book it as an accrued liability. So more than probable, no. More than reasonably possible, well, more than reasonably possible, you get to probable then. So in order for a footnote disclosure to be required, it would have to be more than remote. A is correct, because if the loss were simply remote, but not more than that, then no disclosure is required. Therefore, it must be more than remote in order for disclosure to be required. Here's the kind of question you can expect. Management is trying to determine whether to accrue a contingent liability. All the following would help in the determination, except what? A, whether the loss is considered probable or possible by legal counsel. If you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with contingencies or the CPA FAR exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, the number one CPA review supplement, and take I-75 to your next pass.